It's 6 a.m. and I'm starting to wake up. Lately, I've been trying to wake up earlier so I could get some work done before I have to start streaming. I always begin at 9 a.m. and stream for about 4 to 5 hours working on my tower defense game. I don't like eating this early, so I'm making myself a simple mint tea. And yes, I used salt, not sugar. It's actually very delicious. In the mornings, I try to relax, take it slow and work on whatever I feel like working on. For example, look at this one. Deep frying your videos. Oh wow, that's great! I also worked on editing a short for TikTok and YouTube. I tried to follow the advice given by smarter and bigger developers, which is to focus on marketing as early as possible. It's 7am now and I have to make a decision. I can either go to the gym or I could plan out my day. And yeah, I actually fell asleep. As I said, I napped for about an hour and a half and after that I had to quickly get ready to start streaming. Because it's very important to me that I always start on time and I'm never late. Which so far I have managed to do. Today's task for the game is to create a meteor ability. I have already created a dummy beforehand, which is not implemented. And today it's time to SMASH THAT shit. But first, remember the flame? I could not resist trying to improve it again. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, I tried to animate fire using Perlin noise. The way that works is, if you are trying to take a sample from a picture, you first take the sample from a noise texture. Then you take the value of the noise and add that to the coordinates of the sample. And only then you take the sample from the picture, which will give you a distorted or wavy result. You could also animate the noise texture using time. This will result in a water-like effect. And apparently, by adding this line of code, the noise affects the bottom less than the top. Yeah, well, I have no idea how that works, but it looks cool. Next, I finally started working on the meteor. But first, I had to start learning how to draw pixel art explosions. Luckily, I found a simple tutorial that was easy to follow. And by follow, I mean, I literally copied the entire thing. What an easy yoink, man. Nice. I then used that sprite to spawn a bunch of explosions when the meteor impacts the ground. But even though this looks awesome, I reduced the amount of explosions to make it less ridiculous. Because I'm concerned about visual pollution. Or maybe I have just been playing too much Path of Exile lately. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Then I added more oom to the explosions by making each spawn a bunch of particles. Which by the way I made using my own particle editor. And voila! Oops. I accidentally created an infinite loop, but after some trial and error, for longer than I would like to admit, the particles were spawning properly and I could move on to the next step. You know, all of this was cool, but I couldn't tell which enemies would be hit by the explosion. So I reused my attack range indicator to create some sort of hit radius indication thing. Before the meteor impacts the ground, I wanted a projectile to fly towards the target location. I already prepared the sprite beforehand, so I only had to make sure that it's drawn and rotated properly. And here is the final result. Not implemented, go bye bye. It's about 2pm right now and I turned off the stream to go for a walk and clear my mind. Since I'm streaming and I'm developing a game, I'm actually sitting quite a lot. So the movement is very good for me. Back at home, I started preparing lunch. I felt lazy, so I just made a baguette together with a fresh mint tea again and some nice chocolate cookies. I know this looks like a giant meal <laughs> and it actually is, but I don't know what to say. I'm a big guy and I love food, so uh, yeah. Itadakimasu! Oh yeah, and while I'm eating, I like watching something entertaining, which is usually something on YouTube or Twitch. After that, it's about 5 p.m. right now, I started working on editing another YouTube video. I try to do at least a little bit of marketing each day, but it doesn't always work out. 
And for me, that means making videos about my game on YouTube. After two hours have passed, I started feeling exhausted. I made decent progress on the video and I felt like relaxing. So I spent the rest of the evening together with my girlfriend. And this concludes a day in the life of a game developer and streamer. Somewhat of a different perspective. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, leave a like. And if you didn't, leave a dislike. I also want to thank all my Patreons for their support, which are Daniel Rees, Michael Phillips, Felix F and Mio Mio the writer. Thank you very much guys. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.